Look what I have. A thumb. And it's not the regular thumb. It's Thumb Pro. Okay, not that one, but this one. The Runcam Thumb Pro. Super small, super light and relatively cheap 4K camera. I got it a few weeks ago from Banggood. So let's see what is what and is it worth it? Because like I said, it's cheap. But nowadays the cheapness is kind of relative thing. When I said that the Runcam Thumb Pro is a small camera, I do mean it because it is basically the size of the human thumb. Hence the name. However, when we compare it to the competition, like for example the Cadix Peanut I have over here, you will see that this is only slightly smaller and the lens, the huge bulge over here on the camera is much bigger than the lens on the Cadix Peanut. Not really a problem, but well, you should be aware of that. But when I said that this is light, yeah, this is light because it's only 17 grams with the SD card inside, while the Peanut is 29. 12 grams might not be a lot, but your small 3 or 2 inch drone will feel the difference. On top of that, we get a single button with a couple of LEDs over here. The cover that holds the SD card, and by the way, this cover does not really look like something that, well... <sighs> is securely attached in place. You kinda should expect that after the crash, this cover might well just get lost. And the reason that this thing is so light is because there is no battery inside. There is a single connector over here that you can use only to power the camera from five volts or power and steer the camera from your flight controller because this is a serial port. The camera of course works with the standard Runcam protocol, so majority of the flight controllers work just fine. And that's that. There's nothing else. It works only if connected to the external power source and basically is only able to record the image. There is no Wi-Fi, there is no Bluetooth, nothing like that. You just put the SD card inside, hit the button and your flight is recorded. Oh, do me a favor, hit the like button and write in the comments on what you think about the Runcam Thumb Pro because I know that quite a lot of the people already has this camera. And if not Runcam Thumb Pro, then what is your everyday FPV camera that you use to record your flights? Is it something from the Insta360, EDX, Cadix? Maybe it's a GoPro, who knows? Let's find out. Thanks, it means a lot and it helps to grow the channel. And there is one more thing. Like I said, there is no built-in stabilization, but the Runcam Pro records the gyro signal as well, so when you import the video to the gyro flow, you can stabilize it with the gyro flow. One of the differences between the previous generation regular Runcam Thumb and the Pro is that this time they say that gyro signal is actually usable for stabilization. They say so. I never owned the previous generation of the Thumb, so I do not have the comparison. Now, let me roll some flights I recorded with the Thumb Pro. You will see both not stabilized and stabilized flight. No loots, no gamma, no color boosts, absolutely raw image like it came of the camera. By the way, the lightning conditions on that day were not perfect. Not only it was full sun, but I was also flying under the trees so we can observe how well the camera covers the case when we enter from the dark to the bright and from the bright to the dark and how also it handles the white balance in those conditions. The results are well okay. 
it's not the best camera out there. It's also far, 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 far away from being the worst. So not great, not terrible. If your expectation is only to record some FPV footage on your small drone, then most probably the Runcam Tam Pro will be just fine. And the fact that it records 4K, only 30 FPS, is also a plus. So if you want something simple to record your FPV adventures, definitely Runcam Tam might be a thing. Details were okay, shadows were okay, brightness, yeah, washed out like expected. Good everyday FPV HD. 4K camera for sure. However, there are a few things that you have to be aware of. The thing number one is that, well, the Runcam Tamp Pro is a shaky camera. Even though the image is stabilized, you still see shakiness of the image. And by the way, the same quad, absolutely the same quad with the same tune when recording with the Cadix Peanut is much less shaky. Maybe it's the hardware issue, maybe the fact that I got a version without the ND filters, so the shutter had to be pretty short, but definitely it is shaky, even after stabilization with the gyro flow. But I bet getting the version with the ND filters is really a must if you intend to fly during the full sun conditions. And the second thing you have to be aware of is that the Runcam Tamp Pro is the FPV only camera. Because it has no built-in battery, you cannot use it with external power source, there is no Bluetooth, there is no Wi-Fi, you cannot download the videos to your smartphone and I don't know, share it on the TikTok, whatever. This is only to install on your drone, car, airplane, whatever. And as long as we remember that this is a single usage camera only to record your flights, everything should be just fine. Oh, and one more thing you have to be aware of. The 2 gigabytes file limit is a thing with the Runcam Pro. If you record with the 4K, you have to expect that you will record only approximately 4 to 5 minutes of the flight. Then the recording just stops and the rest of your flight is basically lost. And that's the Tamp Pro that was provided by Banggood. Now, here's the next video you should watch. In the meantime, I'm Paweł Spychalski, thank you very much for watching and, like always, happy flying!